Eric Young here, Case down the line. We're doing 90 seconds with linebacker Daniel Green. First question, Daniel. You played Mississippi State. It was almost two weeks ago at this point. Yeah. How loud were those cowbells? Did you notice them on the field? Uh, I, did, I did notice them, but uh, all week in practice, the coaches try to simulate the same type of thing with the speakers, with the cowbells on them. So we got out there. We kind of was used to it because all, all week of practice, we had the cowbells in the background. Was the simulation accurate, or was it still a little level louder? Uh, no, it was for sure more louder in Mississippi State. It was thousands of cowbells out there versus <laughs> one speaker. So, yeah, it was for sure loud. I asked this question to the other players that we did 90 seconds with. Yeah. If you had to have a player, a teammate, cook you a meal here in Manhattan, which one would you trust do it? Oh, my goodness. Trust to cook a meal. <laughs> Man. Ah. <sighs> I'll say Wayne, because that's my roommate. He's me and him, me and him already done cook multiple times together. He know how to cook, so I trust I trust him. Yeah, cook. If you did a sprint with all you linebackers, mm. who's winning? Ooh, 40 yards. Ooh. 40? Yeah. said 40? Ooh. I'm not going to lie. Daquan and Eli, they both fast, but it's going to be close. It's going to be close. <laughs> they didn't, I don't know. I can't really say. Uh, I feel like Eli has a good start. He has just that good burst, so I might have to go to Eli. Okay. Yeah. And if you had to get a good meal from a coach, which coach are you picking to cook that meal? Ooh, coach. So I've done eight and Coach Hazleton's meals already. But I just feel like um, uh, Coach Ray might be able to cook. He looks like he might be able to cook. I don't know. Look like he might be able to cook. We're at 90 seconds. We're going to go a little overtime now. <laughs> overtime. Uh, when you signed up to play at Kansas State, what was that number one thing that kind of was like, oh, that made you think this was the right school? When I came here, I just felt like it was just the right fit. Like everything was just fitting in the right place. You know, like the atmosphere, the family aspect of it. Had a good linebacker core talking to me about uh, the decision and made the decision. Okay. I, I had to fun with Jonathan Alexander on this question. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do a relay team, it's four by one, mm -hmm. and you had to pick four coaches. Four coaches. On well, which, yeah, on your, on your guys' coaches now. Who are you taking? He left out Colin Klein. I thought that was interesting. Uh, wait, are you talking about off like offensive D, court, D coaches or stream coaches also? All, all coaches. We'll go all. Coach Rap is on that list, cause Rap, yeah, for sure. Coach Rap, Coach Allen, uh, ooh, Coach Gone, fast. He a GA. Mm -hmm. uh, one more. Uh, coach Ray, he receiver coach. Oh, you got to be fast. Like, he's okay. got to be fast. Okay, and if you had to do the four assistants out of the the 10 you guys have, or in 11 if you count Coach Kleiman. Oh, assist, the, oh, just GS, the assistant okay. position yeah. coaches, not GS. Okay. You pick four. I said Taylor already, but Taylor's for sure in there. Um, Taylor, Jake, Jake Bang. Uh, I put I put Dev in there. I put Dev in there. He looked like he might. I seen Dev actually run, so he looked like he kind of fast. So he, you know, got a little athlete to him. Uh, and fourth, I probably. My man Blake with the signals, my signal dude. He looked like he's kind of fast, like he looked like a little athlete, so I was late. Okay, last question, kind of a serious question. You basically took a year off football. Mm -hmm. How'd you prepare and come right back into Kansas State, uh, kind of without missing a beat? Obviously, you redshirted still, but yeah. like, what was that year off like, and what did you actually do to kind of mimic, you know, preparing for Power 5 football? Uh, when I was uh, back at home before I came up here, I had to take uh, a lot of classes online and stuff like that to get eligible. So that was really my main focus. And then when I could work out, I work out as much as I could. But it was nothing like workouts when I came here. I came in the winter time, the worst time to come, because that's uh, winter stations. And yeah, we couldn't prepare for it. Like, I just got here, kind of got my butt kicked. First month. I was gonna say, how fast did you realize how out of shape oh, you were? My goodness, the first day, first day. I remember Coach Siler after the uh, the first three workouts asked me, was like, how your body feel? You sore?" And like, I just couldn't even. 
it was ridiculous. Like it's nothing you can prepare for, like get ready for. So yeah. I, I've never worked out as hard as you guys do. I've had days where I couldn't get out of bed. Is it is it that kind of feeling? Oh yeah, that first week, it doesn't matter if, no matter you can be the most in shape dude. Seniors could even tell you they'll come back this winter or summer, and the first week you're gonna you're gonna feel it. Your neck, your back, your legs, everything. It just doesn't matter All right. who you are. That was probably closer to 90 minutes with Daniel Green. Uh, for, for Daniel, I'm Derek Young, K State Online, and tell your friends.